I'm here to state my fervent opposition to the health care and the pension cuts, which amount to a drastic slash in compensation for the workers who help make this such a wonderful community to live in and serve. I would like to point out the futility of promoting the common good with one hand and doing something to add to society's ills with another by restricting people's access to a basic human need. Given that there are $22 million in unresolved funds, I hope that we will have a public hearing before we cut something so essential from the city budget. Behind each and every one of these wonderful services and programs is a multitude of city workers just like me. We love what we do, and I think it shows in the quality of services we provide day to day to the public. It is your city workers who keep Palo Alto clean, fun, and safe. The community benefits from the work we provide. Please show your support of our role in the city by honoring the work that we do and ensuring that we continue to recruit and retain a quality workforce. I've been reading articles about $22 million in excess funds and off-book accounts. At the same time, I'm being told that there's a $10 million deficit that we're being asked to cover with health care for our families. And I know that there's a lot of controversy, there's a lot of talk and exchange of information. There's a, and there are a lot of theories out there, but no clear answers for me. And I'm not an expert. This is not my area of expertise. But to me, it's just not adding up. And I'm even more troubled by the fact that I hear that the city may be in violation of federal financial policies with, with respect to this issue. I ask for uh, an immediate public hearing on the matter, and I thank you very much. Here are some symbolic checks in the amount of $22 million. We want you to call for a public hearing to further investigate how the city is allocating these funds. Eight years and my husband for 12 years. During this month, I know of seven people leaving the city. Combined, they have other cities in the state have agreed to furloughs to help with the budget deficit. We're not asking for raises. We've actually offered to give back to help the city meet its financial needs, but the city has refused our offers. Are you telling me Palo Alto is in worse shape than other cities? We all understand it's a tough economy, and we want to be part of the solution. If you get nothing else from listening to us to tonight, please let me state loud and clear, for the record, we are willing to do our part. In fact, we've proposed many options to balancing the budget, all of them without reducing services to the community. We've asked for nothing from the city. Zero pay increases, zero benefit increases, zero cost of living. We even offered work furloughs totaling $650,000 in wage reductions. Not only have we asked for city, nothing from the city, on top of this, we've also demonstrated how the city could save an additional $1.25 million just by simply reorganizing 10 vacant positions. We just need you to do the right thing. Do the right thing. Thank you.